Ohio State's Jeff Okuda has kind of separated himself and made him the clear number one corner in this draft. What is it about him that makes him so special? Quick feet, excellent in man-to-man. He's got good hips. He's got good mirror, which means he can stay with them when they move. His body control, his transition, he's a contact player, which is important. He's a good tackler. I didn't see any matchup limitations. He's scheme versatile. He's an elite athlete. His technique, his eye discipline, I mean, he's best in man-to-man. He can get better. With his technique, like all of them can, he's got good ball skills. And the other thing that I wrote down, he's sticky, which means he can motor and mirror with receivers. He's played a lot of college football at a big-time level. Top to bottom, he is the best corner in this draft. He will be a Pro Bowl corner probably as a rookie. Who are some corners who might be really good value players that you can get in those second and third rounds? Noah Igbenogany. He was a top 25 wide receiver recruit in 2017. He played 14 games at wide receiver, was their primary kick returner his freshman year, 28.3 yards per return as a freshman. Continued to return kicks, though he switched to defense later and has played two years at corner. He's still learning the position, but he has really good athletic skills and tremendous upside as a corner coming into the NFL. Are there some guys within this group who have first-round talent but aren't going to be picked? I can give you one example of a guy who has first-round talent who will probably be in night two, and that's Damon Arnett of Ohio State, 6'195". He heard a voice from a Hall of Fame player and wide receiver Chris Carter. And he said, son, you're not ready for the NFL at all. You don't have enough film. You don't have enough skills. You've got to sharpen what you're doing. You need to go back to Ohio State. And he had already made up his mind. I'm entering the draft this time a year ago. He was ready to go in. He said, you're not ready. And he listened to that. He took it to heart. He played all of 2019 with a broken wrist and still played very well. Javelin Guidry from Utah. Ran 4-3-0. This guy's going to play somewhere. And Asang Bassey from Wake Forest. 4-4-6. This is a day three guy. Amik Robertson out of Louisiana Tech. Small physical corner. 5'8", 187 pounds. Probably a slot corner. He is not scared of big receivers. He's very physical. In three years at Louisiana Tech, 184 tackles. 14 career interceptions. 34 pass breakups, 23 tackles for loss, four sacks, three defensive touchdowns, and two block kicks. And he moved from inside to outside after his freshman year. In other words, all the things you'd see playing big level football as a small school guy. And then Kendall Vilder from Georgia Southern, 5'10, 199, ran a 4'4, 440. He was also a combine invite, 39 and a half inch vertical, 11 foot broad jump, more quick than fast, but he is absolutely somebody to watch in this, and he would be a day three guy. A couple of interesting prospects there ask you about safeties who have cornerback traits. So I guess what I mean is that they're able to play in a lot of different places throughout the defense. Are there some of those players in this draft? Shaheen Carter from Alabama. He played the star position there, which is a very versatile position in, in that defense that Nick Saban and a lot of Southeastern Conference defensive coordinators run. 5'10", 4, 194 pounds. Again, nearly a 72-inch wingspan. I think Xavier McKinney from Alabama, he plays the star position. He can play Will linebacker, Mike linebacker, safety. He did that in college and could be an around-the-line of scrimmage blitzer. 88 tackles, seven interceptions in 2019 for the Crimson Tide. He's got that kind of skill set. I want to know who you think is the most intriguing safety prospect in this draft who will either be a late-round draft pick or maybe will go undrafted. Luther Kirk from Illinois State, 6'2", 198, so he's prototypical size. He was the East-West Shrine Game defensive MVP with a couple of tackles and an interception. He's a honey badger type of guy, a sure tackler, a physical guy. He's played both safety spots. He's a guy I'd be interested to look at further. J.R. Reed from Georgia, 6'1", 194 pounds, number 20. He's a redshirt senior. He's really a strong in-the-box player. It doesn't look like a single high guy, but he's aggressive to the line of scrimmage. And, and a lot of time you need some tacklers, especially in, in, in altered defenses. Antoine Brooks, Jr. from Maryland. 
213 pounds. He wore number 25 there. This is a shorter, stout build guy. He's a really good tackler. And I don't think he's got elite quickness, but he's got a tough demeanor. He's an active player. He's got effort. He's got tackling skills. I think he would be a core teams player. That's a down-the-line guy. Josh Matellus from Michigan, 5'11", 210, number 14. He's a physical player. He's down the line because of space issues a little bit. But when you start to look down the line, you want guys that can tackle, and you want guys that have physical attributes because the game still is about tackling.